As you probably know, this is USB-C, but what you may not know is that it's about to get more powerful, way more powerful. An upgrade is coming in the second half of 2021 that'll let USB-C deliver 240 watts of electrical power. That's nearly two and a half times more than today's 100 watt maximum. The more powerful version of USB-C is gonna work with a lot of new devices. Probably the first is going to be gaming laptops. These are big, beefy, powerful laptops that need a lot of juice to run their GPUs and big screens. The best thing about this new high power USB-C is you'll be able to banish a whole bunch of proprietary charging cables, just stick them in the junk drawer. You'll be able to charge all kinds of new electronics wherever you find USB port, hotel, car, office, airport. You've certainly heard of USB charging, which was first introduced in 1995, and now it's everywhere. But you might not know exactly what USB-C is. It's a new oval-shaped connector that first arrived in 2015. One of its biggest benefits, there's no right side up or wrong side up, so you don't have to fiddle when you're plugging in the cable. Another big benefit, it works on both laptops and phones, so you don't need separate charging cables. And also, it takes a lot more power, so you can charge laptops, not just phones. The first version of USB-C handled up to 100 watts. That's pretty good. It's enough for a 16-inch MacBook Pro. That's the top-of-the-line laptop from Apple. But lots of devices need more power than a mainstream laptop. The biggest category is gaming laptops, but also you could see high-power USB working for all-in-one desktops like an iMac. I also have a docking station in my office. All kinds of things plug into it, but it needs a proprietary power charger right now. It can also work for 4K monitors and external storage systems. These are really common peripherals that a lot of people have to plug in. High power USB-C is not for everything though, like gaming rigs, big desktop towers. They take way more power than 240 watts. But when I was talking to members of the standards group that charts the future for USB-C, it's pretty clear they have pretty high hopes for this higher power version of the standard. They think it's gonna spread it to a lot more devices like power strips and power outlets in your wall. Don't be surprised to see more USB-C in your cars too. USB began as a way to transfer data. So you could plug in mice or keyboards or printers into your PC. But these days its ability to send power is just as important.